Uh, hi, this video is uh, to help someone uh, running Antix 21 uh, on an older, slower machine uh, to Im improve the performance and basically just tweak it a bit. So here we go. So Antix 21 comes with a default uh, desktop of ROX uh, ICEWM. And so ROX is the desktop and ICEWM is the window manager. And the ROX desktop uh, takes up both memory and CPU. Um, if you turn it off, you can still access the desktop, but you won't be able to have uh, icons on it, like the help icon and the files icon. Um, which probably isn't critical. So let's turn that off. And what we do is we switch the desktop to instead of ROX ICEWM, we switch it to just straight ICEWM. And you'll notice that the, uh, the icons went away. If you... Uh, the, the next thing I would try uh, would be to turn off the monitors, if you're going to leave the conky on, then you really don't need the monitors down in the system tray. So let's turn those off. So go to settings, preferences, taskbar, and so let's turn off the memory status. Settings, preferences. You can edit this in the in the preferences file also, but. This is just as easy. CPU status, turn that off. Um, network status, turn that off. CPU, monitor, network. And, and we want to leave the... Uh, uh, there's a battery status one, and I'm going to leave that one on. Now this is a laptop. It's an old laptop, by the way. It's 17 years old. Um, Dell D620, uh, not very fast. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to save those settings, save the modifications, and then we're going to restart ICWM to have it take effect. And now you see the monitors are gone. We still have the clock. Um, I'll leave that. Uh, and the uh, the next thing is this uh, volume control. There's no really, uh, it takes up memory, and uh, let's see how much memory it takes. So we'll go to terminal, each top, and full screen, and sort by F6, and sort by memory. And answer is volume icon is uh, volume icon is about uh, 18 megabytes of memory. So we can save that by, by not running that. So let's turn that off. And the way we would go to turn that off is we go to control center and the volume icon is under the session user desktop session and it's in the startup file and here it is here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna comment it out by, by putting in pound signs one pound sign would do. I, I usually put in three. Save that and let's restart the session. Log out, restart session, and the volume icon is now gone. Okay. Um, let's see. So, another thing that I like to do is, um, is I like to switch the file manager. Instead of the file manager being uh, 
this is Rox Filer, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a Windows person, so I'm not, not used to Rox Filer type uh, file managers. I'm more used to the multi-pane ones, like uh, ZZZFM is the one that Antics comes with, which is a, it's similar to Space FM, and Space FM was an enhanced version of PC Man FM. Uh, and this is the multi-pane one, and I much prefer this this type of uh, setup. And I'm a person that, being from Windows, I'm used to double-clicking things to make them run, so I turn off this single-click opens files option. And the other thing I like to do on this one is I like to switch to larger icons, and so I've got a view. Uh, style and switch to large icons there and then when there's pictures you'll be able to see the picture uh, in the icon uh, and the next thing I want to do is I want to switch my file manager to make this my default file manager instead of the rocks filer so we're going to change the default file manager from and we use this preferred applications program to change that default file manager. And we'll pull this down. And ZZZFM and then Z. And there it is there. Click open. It's now changed on this screen. We click OK. And now the default file manager has changed to ZZZFM. So the file manager icon on the toolbar, for example, now runs ZZZFM. And by the way, that comes up. It automatically saves the tabs. So if you don't want to save the tab, uncheck that, and then it will always come up in default. Save the tabs the way you want them, and then uncheck save the tabs. The next thing that I would do is I like to run this with a, I, what I do is I use the icons on the toolbar to run all my programs instead of having to go to the menu to run, for example, Midnight Commander, right? Instead of going to the menu to run Midnight Commander like that, I would much rather have Midnight Commander on my toolbar. So, how do we do that? Well, there's multiple ways. Um, the user-friendly way is under Application Antics uh, ISWM Toolbar Icon Manager. I run that, and I can add an icon to my toolbar. And it's alphabetical here. Midnight Commander. Press R. Okay, and now Midnight Commander is on the toolbar. Um, of course, you know, I'm a person that puts 50 applications on my toolbar because I run everything from the toolbar because that allows me to run things with one click like that instead of having to go to the menu to run it. And so it's very efficient. So everything that I use is on my toolbar. However, that takes up a bunch of space. So the solution is switch to a double height toolbar where the taskbar is the bottom and the toolbar part is the top and then that gives you much more room uh, to put things on the toolbar. So if we go to taskbar double height I notice that that didn't take effect immediately there. So let's Save the modification and restart ISWM. And now it's double height. And now my tool, my icons, my toolbar icons are on the top row, and my taskbar programs running are on my bottom row. And my workspaces uh, are on the bottom row. There is a way that you can edit these things in mass by going to edit. I study on settings in the Antics control center. 
And the way I would go about that is I would open the menu applications file. And this has the, the all the programs that are on the that are on the menus organized by menu exactly in the positions they are on the menus. So for example, if I wanted since I've taken away that volume icon there, um, I would like to have also mixer on my tool on my toolbar. So there it is there. It. And then I'm going to go to the toolbar and I'm going to paste it in. Right there. And for example, I might want a library office. toolbar. So I just copy it there, paste it in here. And, and as you can see, you just go and copy and paste all, all the ones that you want, and you save the file, the toolbar file, and then after you save the toolbar file, you restart Antics. ISWM, and now those icons are on the toolbar. There's your library office, and there's your also mixer. So I can always change my volume. Uh, or, or mix your settings. Um, and so now that's on my toolbar, so I haven't lost anything by, by taking the volume icon off. Anyway, so the, these program lines here appear on the toolbar just like they would on a menu, and it's the same code line, and you can just copy from one to the other. Um, so those are my suggestions. Oh, I got one more, and that is that you could change the conky not to update as often. So if you reduce the frequency that it's updating the conky, it will... Take less system resources. Let's see if we can find that. Update interval. So the update interval is currently set for one second, so let's change it to two. Save that. And the conky leaves phase. And now it's only going to blink once every two seconds instead of once every one second. On an old machine, that affects it considerably. It, it takes, I think, 15% of the CPU on this computer. So, anyway, those are my suggestions uh, to tweak Antics with ISWM to run more efficiently, uh, especially with older machines. Of course, those same uh, tweaks will also work for neural machines as well. Thank you. Take care.